Hey Hi guys. guys! Welcome to us on this channel! Yes, Welcome. yes, yes! Ricardo and Coral for you guys. So if you don't know, we are pregnant. I'm having a baby. Well, we're having we're, a baby, but I'm shitting it out with me. <laughs> we're expecting a baby. We're expecting a baby. In how many weeks do you know? Test? Yeah, six weeks. Six weeks. Well, it's six it's weeks in like two days. Six. Is it? Yeah. I thought it was more closer, a bit no. closer now. Five. Six five. weeks and two days, yeah. yeah. So that's when we're having a baby, and it's a boy. And if you can't tell by the title, we're going to be giving you nothing. We're not giving you anything. So we're literally going to talk about <laughs> babies' names, and because we've got lots of ideas, and we want to hear your ideas as well. Not that they're going to count anyway. No, I'm joking. <laughs> I'm joking. But we will take that into account. And we love to talk about names in general. We are not going to talk about, we're not going to give you the name that we actually chose because yeah. we did choose a name for a baby. But we don't want to because... Because we don't want people basically to judge the name. Because it's like, names are like personal preferences, aren't they? Because names relate yes. to people that you already know. So if we were to say, oh, it's this name, you'd be like, oh, I know the person called that and I don't like that person and all this person's like this yeah. and all oh, this was this blah 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 so on so on <laughs> we don't want that so, to be influenced so. no exactly it's so our we're, personal choice. yeah so we're just going to keep it to ourselves until the baby comes of course and when the yep. baby comes obviously we will tell you no. we're going to keep it a secret then right so i got the list right here before we knew it was a boy yeah. we did have girl's name picked out so we actually kind names. of we knew the names that we were going to go for boy and girl yeah quite like a while back before we knew if it was a boy or girl. Yeah. Um, I don't know if I've said this in my previous video about my pregnancy update, but you can go check that out if you haven't seen that. Mm -hmm. As we were going along with the days and times, actually we started thinking about these names even before you were pregnant. Yeah, we did. We, we actually, did. We had a list. We had a list of names that we thought we might like for the future. Yeah. Because I think that names are really difficult. There's just so many yeah. names and there's so many choices. So choosing like one name mm -hmm. for a baby that's going to be like, you've got to think about it. It's going to be little and then it's going to be old. Yeah, true. What name's going to be good for somebody that's going to suit somebody that will like be throughout all of that. Yeah, because so. sometimes you've got those names that they sound very cute for a little baby, but then when... <laughs> And they grow up, you're like, oh, do you still want to call yeah. it like that when he's an adult? Like, <laughs> you know? there's names that I, like, watch of people on YouTube who've named their babies. I, I don't want to, like, judge them or anything, but they're just not names I would go for. Like, Moon is one of them, and Fox. Like, they're really cute, but I don't like those kind of names. <laughs> but they're too but modern, imagine, aren't they? I mean, imagine calling an adult person, hey, Moon, how are you? That's true. <laughs> Show me your mood! <laughs> so yeah, so we don't want to make fun of other people anyway. <laughs> like we just did. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So let's not do that. Let's get into the names. Um, for personally, I love English names, right? So Cora liked Italian names, did you like? No, I just liked... Well, okay, boys' names, I just found it really difficult to think of boys' names. Mm. I just liked everything. One thing that I don't like though, is like really super common names. Hate common names. Yeah, I hate common names like, too. I mean, uh, Italian common names because yeah, Ricardo English, is very to me, common. everything is different. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, true. That's Like, true. everything that I hear in English to me is different. William, to me, William is cool and is and Yeah, but it'd be cool unknown. in Italy though, wouldn't it? Like, it'd be nice and yeah, yeah, in Italy, but I guess we're in England, so we've got to yeah. think about. But we're thinking about England and Italy. Every other person is called so. William, so. Yeah. There's a lot of Williams. <laughs> lots Prince of George. William. <laughs> Lots of George. Lots There's of... lots of George because they're very royal names though. <laughs> I know, that's And the they're thing. the names you like. So let's do the list. Yeah. Right, Ricardo, what is on there? So what we thought about is to have an English name or an Italian name and then the middle name that is either English or Italian. Yeah. Different from the first name anyway. You're very bouncy on this bed here, is like... I am very bouncing. So we're in a bouncy castle. First name, it's Liam. Liam. I really like Liam. Liam is quite cool, isn't but it? But Liam reminds me of 90210, and I like Liam on 90210. So 90210, you wouldn't know then. No. But he's in another programme that's on Netflix. It's like the ones that time travel, and they have to, like, defeat the bad people. Yeah, which one is the it? The main character. Oh. The main guy. He's actually called Liam as well then, uh, isn't he? Is he? I think so. Oh, maybe. Liam. He keeps moving, baby does. That's why I keep touching my tummy. I like Liam because it reminds me of a guy from Beauty and the Bold. I don't know if you've ever watched no, that. Don't know what that is. It's a program, an American program that I used to watch in Italy. There's this guy it's called Liam, and he looks really cool. He's really rich as well. So I just <laughs> imagine That's that. That's cool. 
But I like how we like think about names and people that we actually have, like. Everyone does that. <laughs> so. We just associate it to other people. And it's nice when you don't actually know the person who has that name as well. Oh yeah, yeah. Because if you do, then it's like crossed out where it is and True. then don't really use names of people that you already know. I don't know, I would still use it. Yeah? If it was a really cool name. Depends how well you know that person. Mm, true. Another name, it's Ethan. Yes. Although. <laughs> now we know lots of Ethans now though. Like, I never really liked Ethan though that much. It reminds me of Brat okay. Dolls. There's a Brat Doll called Ethan. Really? Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. But I always liked Ethan. Now we know way too many Ethan, now I'll be way too confused. Yeah, well, <laughs> two me. Ethans, we know. Ethan's crossed. <laughs> then, there's this one that we're debating a lot, Cora and I, on it, right? Because I like it in the Italian way. She likes it in the English way, yes. right? And the name is Romeo. Or Romeo. And I hate Romeo. I love Romeo. It's so <laughs> annoying. It's so no. annoying. I don't know why it's so annoying. Because if it, it's Romeo, not Romeo. It's if I want to call my son like but that, imagine that. if you think that. about it, no, Shakespeare was the one who wrote Romeo and Juliet. Romeo and Julietta. D yes. But he's Shakespeare. Shakespeare's English. It doesn't matter. It's, it's, it's an Italian name. And Juliet. <laughs> it's an Italian name. Romeo and Juliet. It doesn't matter. I hate it so much. Especially because it's not even like Ricardo, you know, because Ricardo you, it's not that different from Ricardo. It's, it's just still it is there. Like completely different, but that is completely yeah. different. It's like Romeo, but, Romeo. Completely different. <laughs> two different names. Imagine right. like having our son called <laughs> My Ro goodness. You're so <laughs> Imagine our son called Romeo and going in Italy and he lived his whole life in England knowing that his name is Romeo because people call him Romeo. And then he goes there and people call him Romeo, Romeo, and he never turns around because he's like, well, who's Romeo? Well, I mean, that is true. That is very true. Like, so that's why there's obviously this debate around Romeo. Romeo. <laughs> Imagine that. Imagine my family calling him. How are they going to yeah. call him Romeo? I love <laughs> uh, Romeo just sounds so good. Romeo, Romeo, where for art thou, Romeo? But that's why I know <laughs> Italian. Romeo, Romeo, what do I say to Romeo? So the thing is, with the Italian boys' names, we really struggled because they're all really no, common. <laughs> they're all very common. I don't yet. know any, I guess because I didn't live there that long and I wasn't raised there like you. I don't know that many names that are like uncommon. I just know the common names. Gerardo. Oh, that's horrible. Why? Is Too many common? R's? It's very uncommon. Well, that's Gerald in English. It's Gerald in English, I but in like Italian it's Gerardo. I. Yes, you know. <laughs> Definitely not. Another name <laughs> is Aiden. Which um, is quite cool. Yeah, I feel like I knew somebody called Aiden. Or maybe I still do. Aiden? I don't know, I recognise It sounds like, I don't know, like Aiden. 80s. <laughs> That's what it sounds like. How about 80s? Hades? 80s. No, but it's pronounced Hades. Hades? Yeah, you mean from Hercules. Yeah. It's Hades. How is it Hades? There isn't an H in Yeah, front, there right? is. Hades. What? It's not Aiden's. What? Let me search it. Hades. Hades. Oh, I didn't know Hades. it was spelled Hades. Oh, you've been calling me Hades all your uh, life, well, have you? Well, in Italian it's called Adi. Oh, okay. But then you well, look... dead? Yeah, do you need to look at the meaning of the word? But I like, I do like Greek names though, like Greek god names. Uh, I think Greek goddesses are nice though. What about Mars? Mars? Yeah, it's... Is it, like the planet Mars? No, it's a god, a god of war. Mars, like yeah. Mars, the planet, and yeah. the ice, the chocolate bar. Mars. Yeah, no. Mars. Hundred percent no. <laughs> Mars, it's like moon. <laughs> That's we've not. Got Mars and moon. Should we start naming our children <laughs> after the planets? Earth. We're gonna have a girl called Earth. <laughs> A boy called Mars. I'm sure there is someone called Earth out there. There must be. So if you are watching this video and you called Earth, let us know in the comments below. Anyway, so Hades is actually quite cool. So we're not going with Hades. How about Hercules? <laughs> Hercules. No, it's Hercules. Yeah, no. without the S. Hercules. Without the S. No. Hercules. In Italian is Ercole. Ercole. Oh, that's Ercole. even worse. Ercole. That's horrible. Why? Imagine me trying to say that. Ercole. 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 Not Ercole. Yeah, I can't do Ercole. it. Ercole. Ercole. 
<laughs> exactly. Imagine me trying to call my son, whose name I can't even pronounce properly. Okule! Okule! <laughs> so, before we end the video, we want to read out some of the names and see what we think about. Because we did ask you to give us some of your ideas of names that you think for boys in a video of gender reveal. And we're going to read them out and we're going to see what we think. So, here are some from Karen. Gianni, Salvatore and Antonio. Gianni? Gianni. Gianni. Oh. But it says Gianni. It's Gianni. 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 <laughs> it's Gianni. Gianni is quite nice. Although it reminds me I... of Gianni Morandi, which oh. is a singer. Oh, I just think of a girl when I think of Gianni. Gianni. Well, it's like, it's like Jan, because like Janet, yeah. so it's yeah. like Gianni, like a yeah. girl. But that's an Italian name, it's Gianni. Yeah. Gianni Salvatore and? Antonio. Antonio. And Antonio, no. Antonio, no, way too nice many name. Antonios. Yeah. But Salvatore is quite nice. I don't know. Maybe I'm not too keen. But the best of those three is probably Gianni. Salvatore. Oh. No, Salvatore. <laughs> Salvatore. 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 What's Salvatore. that mean? Salvatore in English? Saviour. Oh, right. Then no. <laughs> that's weird. Why? Is that actually a name? Do people actually get yeah. called Salvatore? Yeah, it's quite... It's quite... I, I guess it's quite common in South Italy. Next one. Caleb or Gideon? They're Ooh. Bible names. Caleb or Gideon? Yeah, I know Claudio would love Gideon because he, Claudio's my brother. He uses Gideon for everything, like na names. Oh and stuff really? Like that. Yeah, Gideon. That's funny. <laughs> I do like the name Caleb. But I know somebody called Caleb. You do like it? Yeah, I like Caleb. With a K? No, with a C. Ooh, that's different. Caleb. Caleb's Caleb. nice, but. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, it's difficult when you know people called Caleb. These ones again from Karen, but in a co different comment. <laughs> Nicholas, Christopher, Anthony, Gabriel. Ooh, right, I like Gabriel. But it's Gabriella, so that wouldn't work. But Gabriella is my brother, so it's different. Like, it's Gabriella, it's not Gabriel. No, we wouldn't do that. I don't like Gabriel anyway. <laughs> right, next. Christopher. Christopher. I don't know if I like Christopher though. Uh, okay, next. I don't like Christopher. Mm. Nicholas. Don't like Nicholas. I don't know, Nicholas is kind of alright. Nicholas. Nick. Nick. Okay, I nice. know a Nick. Anthony. It's like know. Antonio, but in English, so no. Luciano. 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 I quite like Luciano. It's like Luke, isn't it? Luciano. No. No, what does it mean then? It doesn't mean anything. Oh, I quite like it then, Luciano. Is it common? Somewhat. I don't like it. I like Luciano. I, like I, I mean, Luciano. I think it's alright. It reminds me of a person. I don't want to say it because otherwise it puts you off. Or Calo Giro. Calo Giro. <laughs> that is a really old one. Why did you think that? Calogero. Calogero. It's a really old name. Really, really Does it old. mean anything in English either? No. No, Calogero. I don't like the name Calogero anyway. And then Arthur or Philip. Ooh, wow, I there. like Arthur. I do like Arthur. It's quite Ooh. a cute name, but I would, still wouldn't go for Arthur. Really? Yeah, it's not really used as much anymore, I don't think, Arthur. Of course, after the King Arthur. So that's all of our names that we have um, gathered together, but of course we did not mention the name that we're actually going to be using because it's a surprise. Surprise. Wait for that. Only six weeks. So we hope. Days. Please don't be late, baby. Uh, Please don't be late. Come whenever you feel ready. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure you continue to follow along with our little journey from our like small countdown that we have left. We'll show yes. you like the nursery that we've like set up. We were doing that today. Yes. Um, I was rearranging the room and we're going to sort out clothes and we'll probably do like a clothes haul, which I think we've mentioned before. So. Yeah. We're going to yeah. do lots of things still. Don't forget to follow us on Instagram and follow us on stories that we are improving a lot, aren't we? We're getting lots of stories out and pictures. So follow us <laughs> on RickChello92 and CoralChello92. Yeah, no, Coral. that's not it. No. We don't need to say our names though, they appear so they can see them. Yeah, Coral Ray Chelle. Okay. We'll see you guys in our next amazing video. Bye! Bye. Didn't quite reach there, did you? No. <laughs> Thank you.